Hey, what's happening, my friends? Welcome back. I thought it would be fun to do a video on what the MMA community thinks about Israel Adesanya versus John Jones. It's well known that these two guys don't like each other. They've had a back and forth on social media for some time now. It's gotten really heated, and who knows, maybe one day in the future, they will match up. I did do a breakdown for this fight. I'll pin that link in the comment section, but it's not about my thoughts. The following channels, Raw MMA News and Mind for Combat, great, great mixed martial arts channels. They offer a variety of content. I implore you, please check them out. And if you subscribe, you won't be disappointed. And without further ado, Raw MMA News and Mind for Combat give their thoughts quickly on Israel Adesanya versus John Jones. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Robbie with Raw MMA News, and this is a quick 60 second prediction or breakdown of John Bones Jones potentially taking on Israel Adesanya. This breakdown is for the MMA Slam podcast who has absolutely taken over. He's sticking flyers in your letterbox, he's hitting you with business cards, he's knocking down your damn door. The guys hit 1,000 subs, so shout out to MMA Slam podcast. This is a quick prediction, guys. I predict that the fight will not be much of a fight between John Bones Jones and Israel Adesanya. I think Adesanya is barking up the wrong tree. Yes, we've seen him compete at over 205 pounds. we actually seen Adesanya compete at 220 pounds in the King of the Ring with a vicious head kick knockout. This guy has fought at weight divisions higher than middleweight, at higher than light heavyweight. People need to know that Israel Adesanya is well-traveled in the kickboxing world. He has fluctuated in weight divisions before. But I think John Jones is a different type of savage than Israel Adesanya wants to mix with. I think Jones' clinch work, his submissions, we've seen him latching onto limbs in the past. We've seen him choking Leo Omichita standing up. The guy's a vicious Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. And I think his wrestling credentials are extremely underrated. I think Jones controls Adesanya in the clinch, takes the fight to the canvas and... Like we've seen in the submission underground match with Dan Henderson, just completely controls him. Like we've seen him dealing with all opponents he hits the canvas with. John Bones Jones is just too strong for Israel Adesanya. This has been Robbie with Raw MMA News. One more time, shout out to the MMA Slam podcast. Reaching 1,000 subs, I've reached it myself. No YouTube has not monetized me, but it's a great feeling to know that you've hit 1,000. So once again, shout out to you, brother. You're absolutely taking over and keep up the good work. I'll say it once more, nobody is beating Johnny Bones Jones. This has been Robbie with Raw MMA News, over and out. Oh, how's it going guys? This is Rohan from Mindful Combat. Firstly, big shout out to Dave from MMA Slam Podcast for letting me come onto your channel. So quickly here, I think Jones is going to be just too big, too strong, too much everything for Adesanya. I think he would just take him down, elbow him into oblivion. I think he would smash him to pieces. Adesanya is good at middleweight. I think he's going to do great things, but he needs to stay way clear of John Bones Jones. That's a bad, bad man. So that's it guys, I might have a part two, some more thoughts on this fight from the MMA community. If you want to hear my thoughts on this fight, once again, go to the comment section, I pinned the link to that video. If you enjoy this channel, I'm telling you guys, check out my buddies on here. They have a lot to offer in the MMA realm. Thanks for watching guys, and until the next segment, take care.